Sports presents the Consolation Championship game of the 2008 Southern California Municipal Athletic Federation Basketball Tournament of League Champions. Hi everyone, I'm David Spock along with our scorekeeper Debbie Anora and our camera operator Chuck Pittman. Happy that you could join us at Whitney High School in Cerritos for this Boys A Division Consolation Championship between the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield and Lawndale. For Stone Creek, they went two and one overall. They're only lost to the Pasadena All-Stars. Pasadena will be in the championship game of this tournament. And for Lawndale, they went three and one. They defeated Cudahy in the first round, 56 to 31. Lost to the Oxnard Falcons, 83 to 71. Oxnard will be the opponent for Pasadena in the championship game. In the third place game, facing double elimination, Lawndale defeated Norco 54-32, and Lawndale defeated Cerritos 56-49. For Lawndale, they will start in the white uniforms trimmed in blue, Adrian Rakestraw, Christopher Munoz, Eric Gray Jr., Martin Tress, and Roland Pearsall. And for Stone Creek, they will start Loy Thompson, Jeremy Lee, Shannon Edwards, Sean Bolden, and Chris DeFoya. The officials for our contest, the referee is Al Reyes, umpire Lenny Noble, the Stone Creek Stampede, black uniforms trimmed red and white, and for Lawndale here on day two of competition, they are wearing their white jerseys trimmed in blue with blue numerals. In the first day of competition, we saw primarily all uh, blue uniforms trimmed in white for Lawndale. And the tip is controlled by Lawndale. And in the lane, the scoring first, Martin Tress, and Lawndale is on the scoreboard 2-0. And nice layup by Loy Thompson. And our first high score of the ball game, two to two. These are 20 minute halves, running time for the first 18 minutes. And then the final two minutes of each half, they will stop the clock when necessary you know, for foul shots, things like that, et cetera. And quickly underneath scoring is Eric Gray Jr. And Lawndale's on top four to two. That's underway within the first minute of the ball game. Lloyd Thompson gets the ball. Over to Jeremy Lee. Now the shot from the far side by Tafoya in and out. And the ball will belong to Stone Creek. These are seventh and eighth graders. In fact, in the case of Stone Creek, it's actually Stone Creek Junior High School in Bakersfield. They are the Kern County Junior High School champions, air ball. And it goes out of bounds, and possession will belong to Lawndale. <laughs> Down underneath the basket, losing control of the basketball, but saving it for a second is Pearsall. And there's a foul in the act of shooting. So the foul is against Chris Tafoya of Stone Creek. And going to the free throw line is Martin Tress. So misses the first one. will have one more. Lawndale on top, four to two. With 18 minutes to go in the first half. Jamie Viveros is the head coach of the Stone Creek Stampede. Robert Gums, the head coach of Lawndale, and then the assistant coaches for the Stampede is Leonard Viveros, and Jeff Jones is the assistant coach for Lawndale. So a foul against Roland Pearsall, that's his first personal. Now check that, second personal foul. Just like high school and college, these players allowed five personal fouls before they can fall foul out of the ball game. Follow-up shot by Shannon Edwards goes in. And our second tight score of the ball game, four to four with 17-12 to play in the opening 20 minutes. A nice little shot.
shot put up by Eric Gray Jr. and it's six to four in favor of Wandale. Stone Creek went two and one in day one of competition. Lawndale three and one. And both teams lost to the two teams that are gonna face each other in the championship game. That would be the Oxnard Falcons versus the Pasadena All-Stars. So where's all these players for the Bakersfield team from Stone Creek Junior High School. The players for Lawndale are junior high school players from different schools, primarily Adams and Rogers, with a few exceptions. Now Thompson from the near corner, and he gets nothing but net for three. And now Stone Creek has their first lead of the ball game at seven to six, 16-10 to go. In half number one. We're at Whitney High School in Cerritos. Day one of competition took place in the auxiliary gymnasium at Cerritos High School. Whitney, the smallest of the three public high schools in Cerritos. We also have Valley Christian High School, a private school here in Cerritos. And ball is cleared out by Stone Creek. Oh, stored away! And the basket scored by Adrian Rakestraw. What a great hustle play by Rakestraw. And it's 8 7 Lawndale. We have 15 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Wow. That was almost like a blur. And now Roland Pearsaw has picked up his third personal foul here in under five minutes. And what they will do now is like they did during the tournament. Every five minutes, they will stop and bring in new players. In the 40 minutes of regulation, no player can play more than 35 minutes. But every five minutes, they try to get fresh troops out there. They can substitute as many as they want. They're going to keep break straw out there. Uh, Christopher Garcia, Christian Boyer, Adrian Rakestraw, <laughs> Tylen Huff, and Eric Gray Jr. will be out there for Lawndale. Leonard Williams, Ryan McQuinney, Brock Martin, Eddie Osagura, and Tyler Ferguson on the floor right now for Stone Creek. McQuinney cross court pass. Now shot the long range by Ferguson. Rebound was taken by Williams. But Williams in the foul in the process of going up for a shot. And the foul on Eric Gray Jr. That's his first personal foul. At the free throw line is Leonard Williams. Uh, they're gonna decide instead that it won't be a shooting foul. They're just gonna have the stampede inbound the basketball. Over to Ferguson, top of the key. Over to Brock Martin to Ferguson. Over the near side to McQuinney. The ball knocked away. And it goes right back into the hands of Stone Creek. 8-7 Lawndale, 13.55 to play in the first half. Down court pass to Rakestraw. And Rakestraw fell in the process, hitting the hardwood, going down hard. Fortunately, getting up under his own power is Leonard Williams. Going to the free throw line is Adrian Rakestraw. Ferguson gets called for the foul. That's the second team foul against Stone Creek compared to four already called against Lawndale. Free throw no good. And the ball will belong to Stone Creek trying to get the rebound was Eric Gray Jr. Brock Martin over to Ferguson. Ferguson pulls up for three, that's short. 
And the rebound's picked up by Christopher Garcia for Lawndale. Garcia, 28 big points in the second round loss to Oxnard. Played well in all four games in day one. The foul is against Leonard Williams. That's his first personal foul. That is now the third team foul. And at the free throw line, Christopher Garcia, 5-5 from Magruder Middle School. Ten on the scoreboard now, double figures for Lawndale is 10-7. Second one is good, 11-7, always good numbers if you're in Las Vegas. We're in Cerritos today at Whitney High School, the Constellation Championship game, the boys' A division of the 2008 Southern California Municipal Athletic Federation Basketball Tournament of League Champions between the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield and Lawndale. So a pushing foul is against Leonard Williams. That's his second personal. And Lawndale will have the basketball as Tylen Huff inbounds the basketball to Christopher Garcia. Four point lead for Lawndale, their biggest of the ball game at 11 to seven, Garcia for three. Christopher Garcia, he had a number of three pointers in day one competition, he comes right back here in day two and picks up one. <laughs> And the shot by Williams comes off the rim after a couple of hops. The biggest difference between the seventh and eighth graders in say high school basketball, and, you know, for the eighth graders, they're only about a year away from starting their high school career, and then you have seventh graders who won't be that far behind. It's basically the ball handling skill. And you see a lot of turnovers, a lot of loose balls, and you know, one team will steal the ball and 10 feet later, the other team will steal it right back. And that's probably uh, one of the biggest things that you'll notice, and of course, like any basketball game, you want to basically cut down your errors to an absolute minimum. Williams misses the second one, rebounded by Garcia. Garcia into the front court on the far side. Dishes it off, and the basket by Tylen Huff, and it's 16 to eight in favor of Lawndale, an eight point lead, their biggest of the ball game, and now they've doubled up the score on the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield. But coming right back with the bucket is Tyler Ferguson. And it's 16 to 10. And now at the other end, Rakestraw's shot rattles around and falls out. So midway through the first half, 10.03 left to play and they will stop and bring out the players on the substitutions. They'll bring out five for each team. Again, Stone Creek in the black uniforms, trimmed in red and white. Lawndale in the white uniforms, trimmed in blue. Tylen Huff, Christian Boyer, Christopher Garcia, Martin Tress, and Christopher Munoz out on the floor for Lawndale. Joshua Lubati, Shannon Edwards, Jeremy Lee, Sukman Soe, and we'll check the other name for you in just a moment for Stone Creek. And shot high off the glass by Sean Bolden. He was the other fifth player inserted into the lineup by Coach Jamie Viveros. Fouls against Christian Boyer. Boyer is a 6-3 future forward or center for somebody from Paul Revere Middle School in Brentwood. At the free throw line, missing his first shot is Sean Bolden. David Smock, along with our camera operator Chuck Pittman and our statistician Debbie Inora at Whitney High School in Cerritos. We have 9.09 to play. Lawndale leading the Stone Creek Stampede 16-11 in this Constellation Championship game, essentially playing for fifth place in this tournament. Shot missed by Edwards, goes out of bounds, possession turns over to Lawndale.
Garcia launching for three. And trying to save it before it went out of bounds was Sukman Soe. Ball inbounded by Treff. Garcia along the baseline, an underhand, left-handed shot. Huff with the rebound, the putback, and the score by Tylen Huff, 5-9. Goes to Rogers Middle School. Shot hits the top of the backboard. So essentially it goes out of bounds and possession will belong to Lawndale. Munoz into the front court, feeds it into Huff. Huff, couple of dribbles, bank shots short. Munoz gets the rebound, his shot's blocked. And a pass down court to Sean Bolden, but it's stolen away by Christopher Garcia for Lawndale to Tylen Huff, and Huff with the layup. And for Huff, now that's six points for Tylen Huff, and it's a 22-11 lead in favor of Lawndale, and that's enough for the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield, they call timeout. Seven minutes, 20 seconds to play in the first half with the score, Lawndale 20 and Stone Creek 9. Let's check that. Stone Creek 11, a nine-point lead for Lawndale. Let's take a look at scoring in the first half. First for Lawndale, you have Christopher Garcia with four points. Four points by Adrian Rakestraw. Four points by Eric Ray Jr. Two points by Martin Tress. And the leading scorer right now for Lawndale is Tylen Huff. And for Stone Creek, they're paced by Lloyd Thompson with five points, Shannon Edwards with two, one by Leonard Williams, two by Ferguson, and one by Bolden. Nine point lead for Lawndale, the Stone Creek has the basketball. Shot off the glass by Edwards, rebounded by Huff. And they're gonna call traveling uh, against Lawndale. So the ball will go back over to the Stampede. Joshua Labati to inbound. Not attempt to Bolden, but then the follow up. And the credit given to Joshua Labati. Quickly down the other end, Shannon Edwards loses the basketball. This is he was going to go up for a layup. So again, there's those turnovers we talked about at the top of our telecast. Big difference in the seventh and eighth graders. But again, you see some, some flashes of some very good basketball skills. And Probably we'll see a lot of these players playing at the high school level in another year or two. Christopher Munoz with his first field goal of the day. 22-13, back to a nine point lead. Biggest of the ball game now for the second time for Lawndale. With six minutes to play in the first half. Letting it fly was Stone Creek. The rebound by Tress. Garcia for three. In and out, and the rebound by his opposite number. Now check that. I thought it was 21, it was 31. The body, but down to the other end, Sean Bolden with two. That's three points for him. And it's Lawndale 22, Stone Creek 15. Next dead ball, they'll substitute players again. Munoz along the baseline, comes off the rim. Ball rebounded by Christopher Garcia. Garcia in the lane, blocked on the shot by Shannon Edwards. Now Mark Martin and Chris DeFoya will check into the Stone Creek Stampede lineup. So there's a timeout in the floor, five minutes and one second remaining in the first half with the score, Lawndale 22 and the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield, 15. You're watching the Boys A Division Consolation Championship game at the 2008 Southern California Municipal Athletic Federation Basketball Tournament of League Champions. 
along with our camera operator, Chris Pittman, and our statistician, Debbie Enora, David Smock, we're at Whitney High School in Cerritos. So right now, Lawndale still in their huddle, getting instructions. And now Lawndale comes out onto the floor. Again, the Stone Creek Stampede, black uniforms trimmed in red and white for Lawndale and their white uniforms trimmed in blue of blue numerals. And inbounding the basketball for Lawndale, Christopher Garcia. Garcia, nice pass into Tress. Tress with the shot. And the ball's rebounded by Bolden. Cross court pass intended for Jeremy Lee goes out of bounds. Now a couple of substitutions coming up for Lawndale. Adrian Rakestraw has kind of two on his number. It's really supposed to be 23. And then coming in also Eric Gray Jr. for Lawndale. So Huff comes out. Not sure who the other player was who came out. 22-15 Lawndale, lead of seven points with 4.15 to go in the first half. A battle for the basketball right in front of our location. Christofoya saves it for Stone Creek, but then he passed it to Edwards in the backcourt, and so that's over and back, so possession will go to Lawndale. And the ball inbounded right in front of our Channel 22 Sports courtside location. Lawndale with the basketball, Garcia. Gives it to Gray. Gray blocked by Bolden. That's at least two blocks for Bolden here in the first half. Down at the other end, the layup comes off the rim, rebounded by Rickstraw. And Garcia wanting to try to drive along the baseline, loses the handle, but the last one off a Bakersfield player. Whatever the case may be, the ball belongs to Lawndale. And Garcia, no time clock. Garcia launches for three, air ball. The initial rebound made by Martin Tress. So they're gonna call a foul. The foul is against Brock Martin. And going to the free throw line is Martin Tress, 5'7", from Adams Middle School. Tress already zero for two from the free throw line today. And now he's zero for three. Clock continuing to run, two minutes, 35 seconds to play in the first half, 22-15 in favor of Lawndale over the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield. And Martin gets that one, one for four from the line is 23-15, eight point lead. Nine has been the high twice. And traveling, called against Stone Creek. So the Stampede turned over the basketball to Lawndale. Coming up on the two minute mark shortly and after that they will stop the clock when necessary in dead ball situation. And traveling, called against Garcia. Here he's trying to drive in the lane. And Garcia gets hit with a technical foul. So that's one of those things as players, you really can't display your emotion like that, especially to the official. So with the technical foul, going to the free throw line for Stone Creek will be Jeremy Lee. Lee misses the first one, he'll have one more. Clock is stopped, one minute, 58 seconds to play in the first half. And Lee misses both of them. So no harm, no foul as far as the technical is concerned. And it's still an eight point lead for Lawndale at 23 to 15 with under two minutes to play in the first half. 
Bolden inbounds the basketball for Stone Creek. Now into the front court is Martin. Turnaround shot by Bolden is wild. Rebounded by Londale. Wickstraw! Adrian Rickstraw makes it a 10-point lead, biggest of the ball game, 25-15 in favor of Lawndale with a minute and a half to go in the opening 20 minutes. Fouls against Sean Bolden, that's his first personal foul. Bolden has a couple of blocks, but his shots have been really erratic and quite wild for the Stampede. Driving in the lane for the attempted shot, Christopher Munoz. And Munoz fouled in the process by Jeremy Lee. Now the bonus situation, one plus the penalty from here on out in the last minute 22 of the first half. And at the free throw line is Roland now check that, Christopher Munoz, Munoz 5'7 from Adams Middle School, makes the first one, it's a 11 point lead, 26 to 15. And the second one is good as well, and now it's a 12 point lead, as Londale's on top by a dozen, 27 to 15. Christofoya is fouled in the process. Wait for the call, but it'll probably be called against Eric Gray Jr. And so that'll send Chris Tafoya to the free throw line. Tafoya has not scored here in the first half. It's minute 13 remaining. So this will be his first shot from the charity line. That one misses by a mile. Second game, the uh, second shot is good. And Tafoya, one for two from the line, is 27 16. Munoz goes down hard. Defending against him was Tafoya. So Chris Tafoya of the Stone Creek Stampede is called with the personal foul. Munoz at the free throw line, two for two earlier in the first half. Clock stops with 45 seconds remaining in the first half. A good couple of attempts. There looks like by Rakestraw and perhaps Tress to get the ball after the miss. And it's kind of deja vu all over again, to quote Yogi Berra, because foul was called against Jeremy Lee. And this time that puts Tress at the free throw line. Tress is one of five. And he makes both of them. And it's 28 to 16, 12 point lead. Well, made one. He made one of the two shots. That's right. It was not one plus the penalty bonus. That was a couple of free throws because of the act of shooting. Fouls against Adrian Rakestraw. That's his first personal. At the free throw line for Stone Creek will be Shannon Edwards. 32 seconds remaining, 28-16 in favor of Lawndale. And the ball is rebounded by Christopher Garcia for Lawndale. Garcia bounce pass to Minos. Uh, pushing foul. So Chris Tafoya now of Stone Creek has three personal fouls. He's the only member of the Stampede team from Bakersfield with three. And Roland Pearsall has three for Lawndale. At the free throw line is Christopher Munoz. 
Pirates at the 4-5-7 from Adams Middle School. Roland Pearsall and Eric Gray, or check that, Pearsall and Martin Tress, along with Munoz, are students at Adams Middle School. Eric Gray Jr. comes out, Christian Boyer goes in. And the free throw by Munoz is good. He'll have one more that makes it 29 to 16. So it's now a 13 point lead for Lawndale, their biggest of the first half. Second one is good as well, and it's 30 to 16 in favor of Lawndale. 15 seconds left in the first half. And the pass goes out of bounds intended for Bolden. A wild pass by Tyler Ferguson. And the ball will belong to Lawndale with 12 seconds remaining. Well, check that. They're gonna, they gave it to Stone Creek. Three-point shot misses. Follow-up on the putback by Martin doesn't go. Now Garcia has it. And Munoz passing to Garcia, and Garcia's three-point shot does not go in. Halftime at Whitney High School in Cerritos with the score, Lawndale 30, and the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield 16. Welcome back to Whitney High School in Cerritos. David Smock, our camera operator Chuck Pittman, our scorekeeper Debbie Norup, as I said for the start of the second half, Lawndale leading Stone Creek Junior High School, the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield, 30 to 16. Take a look at scoring in the first half. First for Stone Creek, Boy Thompson with five points, Shannon Edwards with two, Leonard Williams with one point, Joshua Lebetti with two, Tyler Ferguson with two points, Sean Bolden with three, and Christopher Boyer with one. For Lawndale, Christopher Garcia with four points, Adrian Rickstraw with six, Christopher Munoz with six. Four points by Eric Ray Jr., Martin Tress with four points, and six by Tylen Huff. The Stone Creek Stampede, the black uniforms, trimmed in red and white. They will start in the second half. Chris DeFoya, Shannon Edwards, Jeremy Lee, Lloyd Thompson, and Sean Bolden. Meanwhile, for Lawndale, they will start Tylen Huff, Eric Ray Jr., Adrian Rickstraw with the two on his back of his uniforms at 23, along with Christopher Munoz and Martin Tress. This is the Boys A Division Consolation Championship game of the 2008 Southern California Municipal Athletic Federation Basketball Tournament of League Champions. We set for the second 20 minute half, running time for the first 18 minutes of that half. And the shot misses by Thompson. Our corner shot for three was no good. Rebounded out by Bolden. Basketball lead. Cross court over to Edwards. And Edwards' shot doesn't go. And it's recovered by Stone Creek. Thompson. That doesn't go. Rebounded by Edwards. That's at least two rebounds for Edwards in this sequence. Three for high pass, oh my goodness, in and out by Lee. And the foul is going to Sean Bolden. And so the ball will belong to Lawndale. Lawndale got to this Constellation Championship game by defeating Cudahy in the first round, 56 to 31. Losing to the Oxnard Falcons, 83 to 71. Then Lawndale beat Norco, 54-32. And Lawndale beat Cerritos 56-49 as the ball is rebounded by Tafoya. Edwards, his shot doesn't count because he traveled. Officials for this game, Al Reyes and Lenny Noble. That was Lenny with the call on the traveling. So bringing the ball in the front court, Chris Raminos. Ball knocked away by Thompson, but recovered by Lawndale. Now Rick Straw, on the near side. Now to Munoz. Kicks it out to Tress. Tress for three. Doesn't go, and the ball is rebounded. 
by Sean Bolden for Stone Creek. Oh, block shot by Eric Gray Jr. on uh, Tafoya. Wow, that was pretty. Uh, then the follow-up is scored by Sean Bolden. And with 17.35 to play in the first half, it's 30-18. Well, make it a lot more than that. You know for three, and it's 33-18, 15-point lead. And that's the biggest of the ball game for Lawndale. Here with 17.22 to go in the game. Driving along the baseline was Lloyd Thompson. But then there's... The foul was against Lawndale. Dal Reyes, the referee, talking to Mike Lupke from the city of Cerritos regarding the rules for this competition. Basically, right now, it's a 15-point lead for Lawndale, and generally under the rules, the possession arrow will basically point to the losing team. So basically, now the two officials are describing what's happening, Al Reyes and Lenny Noble. So the rules are primarily the same as high school. There are some variations, and this is one of them. So the rule being explained to both coaches and also being explained to the Lawndale players on the court. Lloyd Thompson will inbound the basketball for the Stone Creek Stampede. Kern County Junior High School champions from Bakersfield. And Thompson will inbound the ball again because of the 15 point lead possession arrow belongs to Stone Creek. Three second violation is called against Bakersfield. And that's the first time we've seen that in this tournament. Bring the ball into the front court, Christopher Munoz. Into Huff. Back out to Munoz for three, air ball. Follow up shot doesn't go. Huff tries to save him from going out of bounds. And the ball turned over to Stone Creek. 16-13 to play in the game. Lawndale 33, Stone Creek 18 in this Boys A Division Consolation Championship game. For three, that's no good. Knocked away by Huff, recovered by Lee. Lee has to fly for three. Jeremy Lee, at this point, first points of the ball game, and it's 33-21 as Lawndale leads by a dozen, 15.40 to go. Three-pointer by Gray is short, goes out of bounds. And the Stampede will inbound the basketball. Down court pass to Thompson. Stone while he's in the backboard. Knocked away by Huff, stolen. Recovered by Rakestraw. Now the ball is picked up by Shannon Edwards. One of those turnovers we talked about at the top of our telecast. Rebounded by Tafoya. Now stolen away by Press. the bodies underneath the basket. So a 15.05 to go in the first half. There's a timeout on the floor with the score. Lawndale 33 and the Stone Creek Stampede of Bakersfield 21. Every five minutes play stops to for substitutions, they line up along the line for the purpose of the scorekeeper. Stone Creek will have Ryan McQuinney, Leonard Williams, Brock Martin, Eddie Osegura, and Tyler Ferguson, and the Adrian Rakestraw, Eric Ray Jr., Christian Boyer, uh, Christopher Garcia, and we'll see if I catch the other playoff. I think it's 
We said it was Garcia, Munoz, Boyer, Gray, and Roland Pearsall. So those are the five out on the floor right now for Lawndale. Lawndale leading by a dozen. High has been by as many as 15. Basketball, Martin. Segura back to Martin. Oh, beautiful pass. Shot misses by Ryan McQuinney. And we see the pass from Ferguson. The Lawndale will have the basketball. Foul is against Eddie Osegura of Stone Creek. Banner here in the gym says Stone Creek Junior High, home of the Stampede. Trip all the way down from Bakersfield in the southern San Joaquin Valley. Uh, driving to the lane was Roland Pearsall. Pearsall, 5'8", from Adams Middle School. Fouls against Tyler Ferguson. That's two on Ferguson. Garcia in the corner. On the baseline, new ball, and controlled by Stone Creek. She was picked up by Martin for the Stampede. On the near side to Ferguson. Ferguson had given the ball to Williams. You probably have a better view at home with our camera that's up high as opposed to our floor view. Here at the gym, sometimes you get blocked out by the officials. That was one of the cases right there. No question about that basket by Ryan McQuenny. And with 13 15 to go in the ball game, it's Lawndale 33 and the Stone Creek Stampede 23. So after being down by as many as 15 now, Stone Creek has cut it down to 10. And lots of time left. Garcia bringing it up to Nino. Nino's. That was pass to Pearsall. Pearsall had to kind of go back and pick that one up. Now driving along the baseline is Munoz. And the ball is rebounded by Leonard Williams. Ferguson. The layup. Ferguson going coast to coast. And now it's an eight point ball game. Longdale 33. Stone Creek 25. 12 and a half minutes to play in the contest. 15-point lead has come down to an eight-point margin. And that's enough for Lawndale. They call timeout 12-12 to play in the second half with the score. Lawndale 33 and the Stone Creek Stampede 25. Check a look scoring. First for Stone Creek. Jeremy Lee with, uh, well actually we'll go to the top of the roster, Lori Thompson with five points, Jeremy Lee with three, Jenna Edwards with two, Leonard Williams with one, Joshua Labetti with two, two scored by Ryan McQuinney, Tyler Ferguson with four points in the ball game, Sean Bolton with five and one by Chris DeFoya. Meanwhile, the only points in the second half Scored for Lawndale has been a three-pointer by Christopher Munoz. And so Munoz leading all scorers with nine points. And that's the problem right now because we have a quick ad here. Nine to three. Stone Creek has outscored Lawndale here in the second half. And we have 12-12 left to play. After the timeout, Stone Creek inbounds the basketball. And cut a 15 point deficit down to eight. Lawndale trying to hold on to the lead here in the Constellation Championship game of uh, the boys' A division. Turnaround shot doesn't go by McClenny. And the ball is rebounded by Roland Pearsall. Garcia in the front court. Garcia for three at short. And ball rebounded, knocked away by Pearsall from behind after the rebound. Goes off the body 
of Martin. Down court now to Osagura. His shot comes off the rim. Yeah, these turn into volleyball tip drills and rugby scrubs sometimes. <laughs> Garcia on the baseline. Leads it to Eric Ray Jr. and Gray with the basket. And now 35 25, 11 and 11 to play in regulation. If it goes overtime, they'll have a three minute overtime period. Ball recovery by Stone Street. Picked up by McLennan. So the foul is against Garcia. That's his third personal foul. Garcia's opposite number, Eddie Osagura, inbounds the basketball to Brock Martin. Brock. Gets it into William, now in the corner to Ferguson. That's an air ball. So there's a timeout on the floor with 10.15 to go in the game with the score Lawndale 35. And the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield 25. So Jeremy Lee, Joshua Lubati, Shannon Edwards, Sukman Soe, and Sean Bolden will be the five on the floor for Storm Creek. Meanwhile, Christian Boyer, Martin Tress, Christopher Garcia, Eric Gray Jr., and Roland Pearsall are the five players on the floor right now for Wandale as play resumes up on the midway point of the second half. Now exactly 10 minutes to play in regulation. I'm David Small, along with our camera operator Chris Pittman and our scorekeeper Debbie Ignora. Hoping that you're enjoying all the action from Whitney High School in Cerritos right here on Channel 22 Sports. Day two competition, the Constellation Championship game of the 2008 Southern California Municipal Athletic Federation Basketball Tournament of League Champions. And that was good for three by Lee. He has three, two trays in the game. And now it's a seven point ball game, 35 28 in favor of Wandale. 924 to go. Wandale needs some points and need them in a hurry, and they got them right there as Christopher Garcia scores at six for Garcia. And it's 37 28, nine point game. Ferguson from the corner, in and out. And the ball is rebounded by Boyer. Down court pass to Pearsall. And Pearsall draws the foul. So Joshua Labati gets called for the Foul, and that's the free throw line is Roland Pearsall, 5'8 from Adams Middle School. So, correction on the foul. Joshua Labati is Labetti. A's in the E's look a little difficult to distinguish on the roster that we were given. Foul was called against Christian Boyer. That will send Shannon Edwards to the free throw line. 7.55 to play in the game. It's running clock for the first 18 of 20 minutes in each half. 37-28. In favor of Lawndale, they are trying to hold on to the lead. In by as many as 15, now down to nine. Boyer comes out, Adrian Rakestraw checks in for Lawndale. And the second free throw coming up here in a moment from Shannon Edwards.
Ball goes out of bounds. And Stone Creek will have it after Edwards missed the free throw. Shot attempted by Soe. And Sukman Sohi will go to the free throw line. Foul was against Martin Tress. take over for Martin Tress in the Lawndale lineup. 6.15 to go in the ball game. Lawndale 37 and Stone Creek 28. So he makes the second one. So it's 37-29 Lawndale. Coming up exactly six minutes to play in regulation. Uh, driving towards the basket, Roland Pearsall. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. So that will send Pearsall to the free throw line. We'll see who the foul was against. That was called against John Bolden. Pearsall. Zero for two from the free throw line. Oh my goodness. That looked like that was going to roll in. Hung there on the lip of the rim for a moment and then fell off. First of all, second one is good with 5.05 to play in the game. It's Longdale 38, Stone Creek 29. So a nine point lead for Longdale. Oh, block shot by Eric Gray Jr. Wow. 5-11 from Rogers Middle School. Again, the Lawndale team. We have seventh and eighth graders. They're the same thing. Wow. That was pretty. Three-point basket by Brock Martin. And now it's 38-32, a six-point ball game, three-possession game with 418 to play in the second half. Constellation Championship game, boys A division. Both of these teams lost to the two teams that will play in the Open Championship game. The first place between Cassidy and Oxnard. Uh, three, Roland Pearsall. 41-32, back to a nine-point game for Lawndale. 3.55 to go in the contest. Shot from the near corner, air ball, taken by Pearsall, down court to Rakestraw, and Adrian Rakestraw with the layup. 43-32, 11-point lead now for Lawndale. They stretch it back into double digits. Led by as many as 15, ball stolen away by Pearsall, and Pearsall is blocked and goes down hard. Slow to get up. So the foul against Brock Martin of the Stone Creek Stampede from Bakersfield as Pearsall is down. And we're going to step aside for a moment with 3.06 to play in the ball game. It's Lawndale 43 and the Stone Creek Stampede 32. Roland Pearsall is able to get up under his own power. That's going to leave a bruise. Came down hard, and we've always made the comment before, you know, they don't call it hardwood for nothing. And that's exactly the situation right there. So Roland Pearsall will go to the free throw line. With 2.57 to play in the game, the clock restarted with Lawndale leading Stone Creek 43-32. to And 
First of all, makes the free throw. And he'll have one more since he fell in the act of shooting. That makes it 44-32. Back to a dozen point lead for Lawndale. Second one as well, and Lawndale now with a 13 point lead, 45 to 32 with 2.15 to go in the contest. And so Lawndale, if they can hold on here in the next couple of minutes, will have a chance to take the Constellation Championship game. Golden loses the ball, picked up by Ferguson. Ferguson lets it go from the corner. Point shot, Ferguson on the follow up, and I think it's fouled by Eric Ray Jr. in the process. And indeed, that's the call against Gray. That's his fourth personal foul. 142 to go in the contest, 45 32. And at the free throw line is Tyler Ferguson. Ferguson with two points in the game as a field goal back in the first half. This is his first time at the charity stripe. And he misses that one as well. And the ball is strongly rebounded by Christopher Garcia. And Garcia loses it, but gets it before we're going over the 10 second line. Ball knocked away, picked up by Shannon Edwards. Now over to Jeremy Lee, who lets it fly for three. Loose ball picked up by Edwards. Edwards tries for three. That's another air ball picked up by Rakestraw, who gives it to Munoz. Now Eric Ray bounced pass to Garcia, and Garcia off the glass for the layup. It is 47-32 in favor of Lawndale with under a minute to play. Clock continued to run down. 55 seconds remaining. Lawndale leads by 15. Ferguson on the far side and slapped away. I don't know if that was Garcia or Gray who slapped it away. They were both there underneath the basket. So the call for 30 seconds left in the game and a 15 point lead for Lawndale. Lawndale will go four and one in this tournament. And he came into this with a three and zero record. And so for a team that just started recently in February, they are gonna go in two tournaments, a combined record of seven and one. Stop on the side is no good. You know with the rebound. And the buzzer sounds, final score, Rondale 47 and Stone Creek 32. So congratulations to Coach Robert Gums, Assistant Coach Jeff Jones, and the Lawndale basketball team, Christopher Garcia, Adrian Rakestraw, Christian Boyer, Roland Pearsall, Christopher Munoz, Eric Ray Jr., Martin Tress, and Tylen Huff for a great job going four and one in this tournament and then defeating the Stone Creek Stampede Team from Bakersfield by 15 points, 47 to 32. We'll take a look at scoring very quickly. Lloyd Thompson with five points, six by Jeremy Lee. Goodman Silly of one point, Shannon Edwards with two, Leonard Williams with one, Joshua Labetti with two points, Brock Martin with three, Ryan McQuinney with two, Tyler Ferguson with four, Sean Bolton with five, and Chris DeFoyo with one. Meanwhile, the leading scorer for Lawndale was Christopher Munoz with nine points, Christopher Garcia and Adrian Rickstraw each had eight points, six points by Roland Pearsall, Six points by Eric Ray Jr., six by Tylen Huff, and four by Martin Trapp. So again, 
for Lawndale. Congratulations to them as they go 4-1 in the tournament and win the consolation game of the boys' A division. Now for our camera operator, Chris Pittman, and our statistician, Debbie Nora. David Smock saying so long from Whitney High School in Cerritos. Once again, today's final score, it's Lawndale 47 and the Stone Creek Stampede 32. Good night, everyone.